going on everyone so got the new red dot slash green dot site for the mck now this one was only like 25 bucks so my hopes weren't really high with it however after unboxing it checking it out and everything i was actually pretty impressed with it and uh we still got to go we still got to go test it out take it to the range and shoot it to make sure it holds zero because at the end of the day that is the most important thing is to make sure that it's going to hold zero but i wanted to go ahead and kind of go through it and show you everything about it and then we're going to go take it test it out and i will tell you my ultimate decision on it on whether it's any good or not this one was purchased off of amazon um it's made by some chinese company called ohuhu and uh yeah so again like i said my hopes weren't really high with it i was expecting some like uh like lens flare type deal. Like when you're looking at the dot, I've got an astigmatism and normally the dots look distorted and everything. And I was kind of surprised about it. So it comes this little lens cover on it, which it's just like this little rubber cap. And then this is the optic. So it's one of those little open reflexes and uh, it actually ended up being perfect height. So if you look here, if I take it, it co-witnesses perfect without any kind of razor or anything like that. So it works pretty good as far as co-witnessing. So these sites are coming off too. These are going with the giveaway as well. I've got new flat dark earth ones coming in to match this whole setup, but those haven't come in yet. This is the only thing that's came in so far. So I still got these on here and uh, we're just gonna go from there. But the other ones are very similar to these. So this thing co-witnesses with a uh, little flip up sights pretty well. And that part I was actually very happy about. So I got us uh, turned around here and we're gonna take a look at this and kind of go over how it works and everything. I'm gonna fold this little brace down. And uh, yeah, so you got your battery cover here and that is also your brightness level. It's got red and green. I'm going to use green just for this demonstration right quick. But so I'm gonna turn it on one here. Turn it around. For some reason the camera is not liking the dot, but that is the dot. I've got it set to three right now. Now right here on the back, that changes what kind of little optic you're showing. So the first one which is on is just a dot. Now if I click it one time over, so right there, now we have like a, uh, a ring yeah, this thing is not picking it up well at all. The camera's not doing it justice, but so that's a ring. You flick it one more time, you get a plus sign. And when you're actually looking at the reticle, it is clear. I don't know why the camera is distorting this one so much, but when you're actually looking at the reticle, it is clear. And then if I click it over one more time, you get like a crosshair type deal some reason again my camera won't focus on it but it actually has got a pretty clear picture and so right out of the box um very impressed with it it's like an aluminum construction feels pretty solid it mounted up pretty good everything seems to be uh okay with it and uh the lens picture is really good it, very open and easy to see the biggest thing is does it hold zero so we're going to take it to the range and find out. And then once we're done at the range, we're going to come back, sit down, discuss it. And I'm going to say whether you probably shouldn't get this or if you should. So far, I like it. And it matches the flat dark earth really nice. A bit of surprise. The new flip up sights came in too. As soon as I was heading out the door to go to the range, I looked down and there was a package with these guys. So I'm going to be testing these out too. I'm going to talk about them in another video. This one is only about the red slash green dot sight. And we're gonna see if it holds zero. Target sitting down to seven yards. And gonna, I'm gonna turn it on the green one. I'm gonna run it on just the regular, well, I'm gonna mix it up and go fancy. I'm gonna put it on the plus sign. So, see what happens.
grouping stayed together. My grouping stayed together. So turn this around, bring it back. That was at seven yards. I'm gonna put a new uh, little sticker target on here. I'm gonna set it 10 yards and see uh, see how it does. So far, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, it's working fairly well. So, I'm gonna swap these mags out. I'm gonna shoot it at, uh, at 10. A while since I've used this hive mag. I'm gonna click it over just to the dot. See how the dot does. So that was at 10 yards and uh, I do not doubt that that spread is my shooting and not uh, not the red dot at all. It's more than likely just I'm all over the place. I got another uh, little target on there. I'm going to stick it at 7 yards and we're going to run the ETS. I think I have 19 in here, maybe 18. Not sure. And I'm gonna flick it over to, I'm gonna run the circle. So that was 18 or 19 rounds with the ETS magazine. They locked the slide back. This little dot's actually working pretty well. This thing's actually working really well. It's held zero. Um, let's head back to the house, sit down, discuss it, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Um, that little red dot by, I forget the name of it, it's like oh ho ho. Oh, something crazy like that. It ran perfect. Um, I have no complaints for $25. That was uh, a really good purchase. And it held zero. And I ran, oh no, 80, 80 rounds through it while I was there. Ran way more ammo than I was expecting to run today. So it's good and bad. Uh, ammo is expensive and harder to find. So. That's the bad on the good. With that much ammo, it, it held zero. So definitely a positive. Um, uh, Brett was telling me, Brett is a employee down at Springs Road Gun Club. Very knowledgeable guy. Uh, he told me that he's very familiar with those type of sites, not specifically the brand that makes that one, but the sites in general. And uh, he was telling me that uh, if you flick between the different reticle options, that sometimes they will come off zero a little bit. So it's usually best probably to choose one that you want to use and continue using that one that you want to use and not flick through them a ton. But from the time that I used it, I mean, I flicked through them and they held zero pretty well. Uh, I was shooting a little low and 
I don't correct it when I notice I'm shooting low. I try to keep the grouping together just to make sure that it's holding zero because if I constantly was correcting it, it could be coming off zero and I would have no way to really know. So I usually just try to keep the grouping together. And so that's what I did with it. And it seemed to run great. And I really don't have any complaints. Um, That really, I mean, for 25 bucks, you really can't go wrong. It, it's got a clean reticle picture. I know the camera didn't really pick that up very well, but it does have a, a clean reticle picture. You can co-witness with flip-up sights without needing any special riser or anything like that on it. It's good to go. So if that's something you're in the budget for, I will put a link down in the description below. Uh, I'll be doing a video on the flip-up sights. I shot those some too while I was there, but that wasn't in this video. And so I will be doing a video covering those flip-up sights. Those were like the cheapest uh, flat darker flip-up sights I could find. And uh, yeah, so those are things that are coming up. I have an MCK giveaway live right now. Uh, it is going to end on New Year's night. So as soon as it hits New Year, that giveaway is over. So if you haven't entered to win that, definitely go into any of my social media down below. And there will be links to those social media accounts to where you can get entered. So that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification for new videos that I got coming out. I'll catch you all later.